Hey, how about you, everybody? Welcome into this week's edition, the Monday edition of Inside the 20 with myself and Cole Pinkston sitting in for Keith Niebuhr, man. Uh, I'm Jeffrey Lee, Senior Recruiting Editor for Auburn Live on 3. If you're not a member of that site, you're absolutely missing out. We've got the recruiting info that everybody wants, including today's visitor list, which we will get to in just a minute. I'm joined by Mr. Cole Pinkston. Cole, how you doing, big dog? I'm good. I'm good. I feel like I had to get in the mindset of Keith, so I got in my truck, you know, man. propped my phone up, all that. Easy transition here for our listeners and watchers. Colton is uh, behind the wheel, pulled over, not in the left lane. Not driving. It's always not driving. good. Hey, uh, we have seen Auburn bring in recruit after recruit, star after star. Today is no different. Cole put a list out uh, earlier on Auburn Live on three. We're going to get to that in just a minute, though. I had six emails and seven text messages this morning. Woke up to uh, wanting to know where they could buy a car. I got the I got the man for you, folks. He's an Auburn guy. Keep it in the family. Caleb Schofield with Mike Patton Auto in Lagrange, Georgia. Fantastic selection of new and used cars. He sells new Ford, Lincoln, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, and Hondas. Used car selection is even more diverse. Fantastic used car lot. All those used cars have to pass a multi point inspection before they even put them on the lot. Got to pass that inspection. And then they back those cars with a free three month, 3,000 mile warranty. All the new vehicles come with a free lifetime powertrain and warranty, unlimited time, unlimited mileage. Caleb Schofield with Mike Patton Auto in LaGrange, Georgia. Give him a call, 334 531 0996. And if you're not in the market for a, a newer used car like myself and Cole, but you know somebody who is, send them to Caleb. He'll send you $300. Not a bad mm. deal. Caleb Schofield there, folks. Give him a call, 334-531-0996. Keith's oh. Jeep is pretty sweet, too, by the way, Jeffrey. I'll, I'll go ahead and say that for him. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Via Caleb Schofield with Mike Patton Auto in the Grand yeah. Georgia. Give him a call. Uh, Cole, we have another big day, another practice for Auburn. I believe this is practice number seven. I think it's number seven. It's the third time we get to see him. So. Okay. The third Monday, you know, they practiced three times one week, took a week off, practiced three times last week. So today is number seven. And as has become the norm with Auburn and Hugh Freeze, another just stud group of visitors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cole DeMarcus Riddick is coming back since his first time since January. I mean, it's not it hasn't been that long ago. DeMarcus Riddick, the, the the Georgia commitment is coming back. Sterling Dixon, the four-star linebacker from Mobile, who was committed to Alabama, he's coming back. Dylan Stevenson, Zach in the Back's boy from Miami, Christopher Columbus High School, four-star edge is coming up. He'll be uh, at practice today. Chase Malamala, uh, North Palm Beach, Florida, big offensive lineman who's been to Auburn, I think, three times now. He came twice, came once last summer, uh, again in the fall. Uh, Amon Lane, the four-star defensive back from Moody, who is committed to Auburn. Uh, who committed Auburn last summer. The new staff, Coach Friesen, those guys retained him. He was all in. The coaching staff was all in on him. He remains committed. And then the top-ranked uh, recruit of all, and this is a pretty impressive statement because those are some pretty highly ranked kids, but Ryan Williams, the number seven overall recruit in the 2025 class, is coming in. He is committed to Alabama. So, Cole, two Alabama commitments, one Georgia commitment, one Auburn commitment, and a couple of other studs, man. What were your thoughts when you saw that list today? Uh, man, I, I was surprised that it you, you follow such a big week with a, a huge Monday. I mean, huge. This is a huge Monday. Again, you know, we have our little recruiting Zoom every Monday morning, and, and it's like, golly, Auburn's really bringing those dudes in, huh? You haven't had to work too hard for content. They're always there. It's like, yeah, I know. Like, we, we have uh, <laughs> ready-made content. It, every yeah. time you go to Auburn's facility, just about with the recruits being there. But man, Demarcus Riddick, and he told me he was going to be there last week. Whatever came up, the dude plays like eighteen sports, so it's all it's all good. He made it. Uh, he's going to make it today or on Monday. So uh, I think he's important. Obviously, you know, I want to I want to pose um, Sterling Dixon a little bit. I want to question him on on his position. I want to know where they're recruiting him a little. Yeah. I know that some people have started to maybe look at him as an inside backer. Maybe even Alabama has has where he's <clears throat> committed. Um, I am curious to see how that's going to work out there. And uh, you know, at last, the last thing that we heard was something along the lines of uh, maybe maybe Auburn's a little bit lower on him than they were at one time. But him coming back, I think, is significant. And he was he was one of those guys that 
quite honestly left a little bit early on the junior day and maybe it could have gone a little bit better with him. So we'll see what happens with him. I think he's interesting. You, would you define him? Uh, we use this word a lot, but uh, as a tweener kind of in between p- two positions. <laughs> yeah. He, well, you know, he was the MVP at edge for the um, Under Armour camp and he played the edge. He was an edge rusher, you know, in the one-on-ones and everything that he did. And he was great. He was just he's so quick. Right. And those guys were not ready for that, but he's very small at the same time for yeah. an edge. So, yeah, I, I mean, I think he's more of an inside backer personally. I think he moves well enough to be able to be an inside backer. Uh, another inside backer, Demarcus Riddick. Uh, Cole talked about him. He was going to come in. To me, Cole, when I look at that list, I, and yes, I know Ryan Williams is a, a future five-star. They haven't ranked five-star guys yet for the 2025 class, but he's the number seven overall recruit. I think he's the number one or two He's number two right. wide receiver in the country, and number one overall recruit in the state of Alabama. Yeah, I, I, he jumps off the page, no doubt. But to me, the most important of this group is Demarcus Riddick. And Cole, you've you, you've talked to him several times. Do you think Auburn could turn that page? Matter yeah. of fact, of I, course you do. You put in a prediction. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I'm stick with it. I'm stick with my prediction. Um, we're kind of battling out here between between us and, and the uh, our Alabama page who also put in a prediction for him to flip. But I think that just speaks to what a true three-team battle this is. And, and uh, shoot, I don't know, man. Maybe he, maybe he doesn't end up with Georgia at the end. Maybe he ends up with one of the in-state schools. I could definitely see it happening. Right now I see it as Auburn. I see Auburn as the team to beat. Uh, and I've heard that from several others who would know about his recruitment. Uh, and, and, you know, uh, he's right down the road, Chilton County. That's right above Montgomery for those that don't know. Um, I don't know. I, something tells me that he gets the hometown feel from Auburn and that means something to him. Every once in a while there's a recruit that comes through. That is a big selling point to me. This is that guy. Uh, and, and having him back on campus right now on Monday, huge. It couldn't be bigger in my opinion. They, they really needed to get him as soon as possible. Like I said, with Jordan Ross, like I said, with Daniel Calhoun, that was a guy you could not wait to get him in. It had to be soon, and, and they got it done, or they're going to get it done today, we think. You mentioned three-team battle, man. You hear Keith talk about all the time, you got to beat beat the beat the big dogs. I mean, who did, who did you beat to get this? This is – and we've, we're going to be using the, the term statement win and recruiting a lot this class because there are guys that – our statement recruits, if you get them committed, if this is would be probably one of the bigger ones. I mean, if you're beating, if you're flipping a Georgia commitment and beating Alabama to do so, there's no more textbook definition of a statement recruiting win than that right there. Demarcus Riddick would be a huge statement win for Hugh Freeze and Auburn. Josh Aldridge, Ron Roberts. We'll see what he has to say. We hope to talk to him Monday evening after he leaves. Uh, Sterling Dixon, I, I'm glad you touched base on that. We were kind of concerned, or not really concerned, but we were wondering where he was on Auburn's board. I, I think it was in the last week or two. Was Auburn really that high on him? Was Auburn really trying to push to get him to flip? We didn't really know, and we still really don't know. We just know he's coming in for a visit this today. We'll talk to him after he leaves, see what he says, see what kind of attention uh, he receives, see what position, as Cole said, Auburn's recruiting him for. Dylan Stevenson, I believe he is making a couple of stops. You know, a, a guy from Miami just doesn't come up and visit Auburn and then go back home, not, not typically at least. But uh, Auburn is on one of the stops he's going to be making four-star. He's more of a, a, a true edge guy. He's I think he's 6'4", 230. Uh, oh, Zach in the back makes a very good point here on our private chat. First. He would be the first – DeMarcus Riddick would be the first Georgia commit flipped since Darius Slayton. And Darius Slayton is in, like, yep. what, year five of the NFL? Just just signed a new deal with the uh, Giants. And you know what? When when, when Darius Sl- – when Auburn flipped him, yeah, 2015, that was eight, nine years ago, almost ten years ago. When Auburn – I remember this. When Auburn flipped Darius Slayton, uh, it wasn't that big of a deal. It was almost – we didn't even know if Georgia was really pushing to keep him. It was uh, 
like it wasn't a huge head to head Auburn flip this guy. If if what I remember is correct, um, I think he was a three star guy at most of his recruitment. I don't know if he ended up as a four star or not, but it wasn't that big of a deal. I mean, yes, Auburn flipped that guy, but it wasn't like the number two linebacker in the country, the number 35 overall recruit in the country. I mean, if Demarcus Riddick stays at number 35 where he is right now in the on-three industry ranking, he is threshold of five-star ranking. And who, who's, who's to say he doesn't end up there before it's all said and done? Huge statement win would be for Hugh Freeze. Uh, Dylan Stevenson, back to Dylan Stevenson, four-star edge from Miami, Christopher Columbus making his first visit. Uh, Chase Malamala, as we said earlier, North Palm Beach. I can't remember what high school. Oh, the Benjamin, the Benjamin School. He's coming up for his third visit. Yeah. I had him marked down for a visit last summer, and then he came to the Penn State game. Cole, what do you know about Chase Malamala? I know we've mentioned him a couple of times on a couple of different shows um, as an offensive lineman to watch. Do you know anything more on him? So last night on the Colin show, we talked about a few guys that could possibly be ready to commit, but maybe Auburn's not ready to take them. I think Chase Malamala falls directly in that category. Mm. That, that's a guy that, that they are keeping close tabs on, and they have technically offered him. I think the last staff did. I, I don't know if it's been, you know, the offer's yeah. been kept there. I feel like it might have because they've invited him to a few things. He's been to junior day, been to other things. Um, uh, if you ever saw his dad, Chase Malamala's dad, the dude's like almost six nine, okay. So Chase has got the genes. He's gonna he's gonna grow into his body pretty well. They know that much. Um, it's just how talented is he? I think they want to see him camp things of that nature. But he's gonna come back whenever they want him to, okay. Or he's gonna reach out and say, "Hey, I'd like to come back." Okay. So he's trying to get there as much as possible. I think he's a guy that would not turn down the offer to play for Auburn. But I think it's more of a we're we're filling him out kind of thing right now. So, if if he wanted to commit today, I'm not sure he would be able to, but maybe getting closer to that. And he's an interesting guy. He's he's such a big guy, and he moves pretty well for his size. But they want to see him in action again. So that's where we're at with him. Dylan Stevenson, though, man, you know, I talked to him not too long ago, and he said he was another guy that said he was going to be there on the 17th. Didn't happen for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, just yeah. Happens. Yeah, that's normal. Uh, we're trying to schedule it out. You're trying to get the right day for the travel and make it all work. Especially two or three weeks uh, before. Sure. Yeah, it happens a lot. Um, and he's from Florida, so that's that's another thing. It took a little bit more to get him there. But he's a guy that I, I've heard from maybe Auburn side a little bit. Hey, you know, I think we got a better chance than people may think here. I think we actually have a shot with him um, to get him, you know, on campus to get him more involved over here and, and, and be more involved in his recruitment. So that would say the fact that he's visiting today, that would, that would verify that, that Auburn's got a shot and he's got several big schools. The the quote he said to me when I talked to him, it was a little while back, you know, Auburn slipped in there real late for me. And, and he said it was because of Josh Aldridge, Jeremy Garrett. I think they've both talked to him. So I found that to be interesting, and now he's coming back, and we have not gotten to talk to him since. And I'm really, I think, if there's anybody I want to know what they say today, it would be him, Dylan Stevenson, number one, yeah, because no I know that he's really high. He's high on Auburn's board. I can tell you that. Okay, much. yeah. Okay, all right. I'll put an asterisk beside him. I had kind of just not really skipped over him, but I was, my, and, and uh, I'm going to be. Curious to see what Riddick says. Uh, well, priority Jeff, we like to we like to be you know we like the realistic ones, right? And, and for sure. a while there, it didn't seem like Stevenson was realistic, and I, I think he is. I really think this visit today means that he's pretty he's becoming realistic. Okay, well then that changes my opinion certainly. Um, absolutely, uh, Amon Lane. Nice to have a guy committed. An in-state guy committed when you've got Sterling Dixon coming, when you've got Demarcus Riddick coming. Um, nice to have an in-state guy like Amon Lane. And listen, he's about as solid as it gets. I don't, I don't know that you can get any more solid than Amon Lane. I mean, he was solid to Brian Harson and staff and is even more. I mean, he, he he's done deal. He's like Walker White on the defensive side. Great, 
um, ambassador for your class on the defensive side of the ball. I really like that kid. He's awesome. And uh, yeah. Ryan Williams. Ryan yeah. Williams. I'm, I, listen, I, I'm old enough to where I, I don't want to see Ryan Williams. I want to see his dad, dude. I covered his dad's recruitment. He was one of the first kids that I uh, – and I liked Ryan Williams. I think he went to B.C. Rain, if my memory serves me correctly. Yeah. Ryan Williams from B.C. Right. Rain. They, they were there – his dad was with him last time he visited Auburn too, and, and I wasn't there, so I, I'm going to be there this afternoon. Yeah. I'm going to hope, hopefully see his dad. Um, he ended up being a four star recruit, if I'm not mistaken. He started out as a three star, and uh, he got that Auburn bump. You know how rivals used to do those Auburn bumps. You know Auburn. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Ryan Williams, Cole. I really feel like Auburn's got a shot here. And there's a long way to go. But if Auburn yeah. is going to flip an Alabama commitment, I feel the same way. This guy might be the one because he's a tall wide receiver. He's a, you know, he fits everything that Hugh Freeze has to sell, especially to this position. And I think uh, I think wide receivers are going to be enamored with this system by the time what October gets here to this year. By the time these guys get to see what this offense is capable of doing. What, what they're trying to do, depending on what the quarterback looks like. So, put me down as the, on, on the Ryan Williams curiosity train. Yeah. Uh, uh, the re reason why he's, you know, he's got a long way to go, right? And we sure. know that Auburn's pushing for Alabama commits, Georgia commits, and he's got a long way to go to stay committed to Alabama while everybody's after him, especially Auburn. They're after him just as hard or harder than anybody. So um, we're learning with these commits to other places. Hugh Freeze seems to have this, you know, uh, he, he gets he, – he's, something in him says, I got to go after these guys even mm -hmm. more. He's got that competitive edge about it. So he got a long way to go to stay committed to Bama, and, and it just feels like Auburn's going to have a really good shot in the end of that one. I agree, and uh, we'll have all as many of these updates today as possible. Monday uh, practice should be over with around 5, 5.30. Uh, recruits will be trickling out after that practice. We'll try to have all the updates at Auburn Live on 3 first. All of our subscribers will uh, be privy to that information, man. We appreciate uh, everybody listening. We appreciate everybody watching. One more time, for those looking for a new or used vehicle, give Caleb Schofield a call. 334-531-0996. He absolutely will help you out. I uh, might, might even deliver it personally to your driveway. Uh, we'll be back Wednesday. Might have a special guest. We'll see. But we will, uh, we'll be covering all this recruiting there at Auburn Live on 3. For Cole, for Zach in the back, I'm Jeffrey Lee, man. Y'all stay out of that left lane. See ya.